Hi YouTube, here again today with another flea market haul for September 14th, 2014. Sorry if we haven't done a video in a while, we haven't really been going out flea marketing. Uh, we've had busy schedules and run out of money and we needed to take care of some things. Before I start today's flea market haul, there is one piece that I missed in my last haul because I didn't realize that it was actually a vintage piece until I looked at it. Okay, I'm sure there are many, many of these out there, but they're just really, really cool anyway. This is a really, really cool vintage, probably 1960s, 1970s, McCoy, uh, smiley face bank in really, really nice condition. No chips or cracks or scuffs on it anywhere. This was $2.50. As you know, I bought the uh, blow mold, the crystal chandelier pendants, the... Uh, mermaid swizzle sticks or pennants for the, not pennants, um, like, uh, martini glass decor kind of thing. I think that's all I bought from him. Yeah, that was it from what I bought from him, so it was two fifty for this, and the reason I didn't suspect it was old is because I didn't see USA well, very well on here. I don't know how well I'll get it on here either, but... If you guys can vaguely see right there, it's a U, S, and an A. I didn't know it was vintage until I really looked at it, so. It's a cool piece just, just being displayed right now. I'm really in dire need of some shelving because I, I've got a lot of stuff that I don't really want to part with. <laughs> like, I really like a lot of the stuff that I've been getting over time, so. Some of it I've gotten sick of looking at, so that's why I have it put in the pile for sell, or for sale, excuse me, but everything else, you know. So yeah, this was two fifty. Great deal. It looks great in my room. Alright, I guess the next piece that I'll get into is this really cool vintage hankies for U.S. Air Force. This just came in a lot of um, linens that I bought. I'll, I'll get to those in a second. Uh, I bought it, this and a bunch of other uh, linens for 14 bucks, so it's probably less than a dollar because there was probably about 25, 30 pieces that I purchased. So it's cool. I mean, there's some staining right here, but you know, I don't think that should really affect the value. And here's the price she had on it: a buck fifty, but it was way less than that. It only folds out into two, so I'm assuming it maybe was just a bag or something, but who cares? It probably wasn't meant to be used. probably just like a sentimental kind of thing. Maybe from maybe the 40s, 50s, maybe. It's interesting. Never seen it before, so this will do well, especially considering it's military. Yeah. All right, now that we've covered those two things, let's get to the linens that I bought. I guess I'll start with these ones right here. I know a lot of you are probably thinking you bought doilies, and you know, I did. I decided to take a shot, because, you know, I know a lot of people do like to decorate with these doilies, whether they use them on the wall, or they actually put them under, like, a lamp or a vase or something, especially if you go for a retro motif. I did, um, separate them out, because there are, um, um, groups that are, have similar patterns, so let's, I'll show you what we've got here. All right, so here's the first pair or um, piece. You've got like flowers, you've got stars, you've got butterflies. Neat pattern, I think. So that's that one, and then there's some smaller ones that look like this, like would be for a dish or something like that. Let's flip it over. So you got that. So I bought. A whole bunch of them. These are mostly the smaller ones. I don't think I had any other bigger ones. Oh no, I did. So I'm gonna group these together in one because they all match. Matching set is what I was getting to. Sorry guys. So I've got the matching set here. And I bought all these doilies that you'll be seeing in the video for 14 bucks again if you didn't hear what me say it before. So that's the first group. All right, what are matching ones? So we've got these ones too. Kind of a floral motif. Some of them have minor staining on them, but it's okay. 
because, you know, these are fairly old, and they're not like doilies made today where they're just made in China and just mass-produced. I mean, doilies are mass-produced, don't get me wrong, but these ones are nicely crafted and made to last for decades, and they did. So we have this one, which is part of another set. This one, I think, is a bit smaller. This one's like more for a vase or something, like the center of a smaller table. So we got this more square looking one. And then we've got this one, which is more like for a dinner dish or like a placemat. So we've got those. That's another set. And then the last ones that, I, that I'm going to show you are more of like miscellaneous. And here's the tag for one of them. It was 75 cents. But... So there are some miscellaneous ones, like maybe put under a lamp or something. They're pretty neat, though. I mean, I'm not going to ever use these, because I think these are absolutely blech. But, I mean, people buy them, and that's that's one of the things that is important, is if you like these and you can get them for a really good price, buy them. I'm not going to be listing these for very much, probably maybe five starting for the sets and then maybe for the individuals do three apiece, just see where I go from there. And shipping is not going to be a, a lot for these either because you don't need to put them in a box. You can fold them up and then ship them out. Alright, so that's one single. This one looks more like peacock feathers, if you can see that pattern in here. you got like the feathered look to it. So there's that one. I'm trying to get through this fast, guys. Sorry, I don't want to run out. Got this one that looks kind of ruffled. Looks interesting. This one's kind of hideous looking to me. It's in the shape of a star. Extremely ugly. But I also think about it this way when it comes to buying these doilies. Think of how much people charge at an antique shop for these. This could be probably a seven, eight dollar doily. <laughs> Bought it for less than a dollar. And here's another one. I've seen these ones, like, or ones that look like this before. Star in the center, and then it's got like all kinds of other patterns on the outside. And then we've got this one right here. All kinds of diamond patterns and stuff like that. Interesting, I think. And then, here's another miscellaneous. I think this one matches. Let's see if one of these matches. I could have sworn it looked like it matched. No, maybe not. Another star pattern. And here's more like of a runner. Like a table runner kind of thing. And this one, the price tag originally said, I think, a dollar. So, that's more of a runner. It's got floral patterns on it. Here's another one, square. Really nice design. Kind of interesting looking. It's very detailed, if you can tell. Alright, I don't think this is necessarily a doily, but kind of a nice linen, or like placemat kind of thing. It's, I think this is a runner, a vintage runner. Very interesting piece, I think. Never seen one before. Alright, and here's the last of the large doilies. This one's ripped right here, but I don't really see a huge issue with it being ripped, because you can kind of flatten it and make it look as if nothing was wrong with it. Most uh, pattern and detail, I think, of, of all of them. Alright, the last of the doilies are actually the smaller ones. So I'll lay those out. I know a lot of people who like, or if people like Shabby Chic, they'll like the pink ones, because I know a lot of um, people who do like the Shabby Chic vibe will get a kick out of the pink ones. Even though they're not the same, I think I'm actually going to sell all of the pink ones in a set, or as a lot, just because I know they'll probably do well. So yeah, there's all the doilies. This one I thought was the most interesting because it looks like an ornament almost. 
Which I might, this one I might actually keep and just put on my Christmas tree, you know. Kind of interesting looking. I might actually keep this one. So yeah, that's all of the doilies. So now let's get on to the, oh, here's one more piece of linen that I've purchased, or a set of linens. If you can excuse me, I'm just going to put my camera down for one second so I can get them out. I think what I'll do is I'll just show you guys a pattern. I'll show you the pattern because there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they're all just placemats. I think they're probably from the 40s, 50s, just judging by the um, style. We've got napkins. We've got a set. This will probably do really well on eBay. Lay them out. Sorry, guys. I want to get this done as soon as possible. Get it uploaded to you guys. Okay, so here we go. It's a light green, kind of like a seal green. Maybe these are from the 50s, the mid-century vibe. I think they're kind of cool. This came with the doilies that I bought for uh, $14. And then they also came with napkins. So I think th that's a pretty cool find. These will do well. And also, I do want to apologize if my titles don't look the same. Um, I had a motherboard problem with my computer, and we are now having to sell it for parts so I can get a new one. So, I don't have a computer at the moment, so I'm using my parents' laptop um, so I can do schoolwork and so I can upload these vids to keep up with um, everything. So yeah, these are the um, placemats and runners. I assume the 50s, just judging by the um, color, the green and everything. So, that's it for linens. You're probably, you're probably all thinking, thank goodness. Alright, and the next piece that I will show you, it's the only um, piece of toy that I bought today. This is the 1965 Little Snoopy toy. A couple hauls prior to this one, you probably noticed that I bought another Little Snoopy. That one was made in 1968, and it was plastic. This one is all wooden, and I think it's extremely cool. If you guys can see right there, I don't know how well you guys can see that in the light. It says, uh, 65 Fisher Price, $3. I paid $2 for it. I thought haggling would do well, and the lady was nice enough, and she took the um, price, or price I was offering. So, yeah, cool. Add to my toys. Alright, th that same lady that I bought the um, Snoopy, I bought this um, really, really nice old um, doorknob. Well, actually, we bought a whole bunch of them for 12 but we're not going to use all of the knobs because we're going to do a um, project in the house. We're going to make a um, coat rack out of uh, the old doorknobs, and we have um, some barn wood that's been sitting up on the landing of our house. I'll have to get a video of it one day and show it to you. It has a bunch of old tools, and that's been up since my grandparents moved into this house about 41 years ago. And we haven't taken it down yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that barn wood, and we're going to make it into a coat rack. Because um, even though we're trying to update the house, kind of give it more of our vibe instead of my grandparents' vibe, we still want to add the antique look to it, and we don't want made to look old. We want the, uh, the real deal old. So this I just wanted to keep for myself because I thought these were really cool and the glass ones are the more popular design and these are a lot more shiny because I cleaned them they were really gross and grimy before I just used some bath and body hand soap and I just rubbed it all over the uh, surface of the glass knob and it cleaned really well and it's nice and shiny and everything so yeah I think this one was we bought I think eight or nine knobs for twelve so that's maybe couple dollars a piece, not bad at all. If I sold this online, I could probably get 10, 15 bucks for it, I think. I don't know, but it's still a cool piece. I'm not getting rid of this, though. It's neat. All right, and I guess the next piece that I'll show you, it's one of the last um, pieces, minus something that I forgot to mention at the beginning, is something I'm putting, or I got on eBay. 
This is probably one of the coolest pieces of the day. This is a 1950s General Electric uh, kitchen clock. You saw in a haul video a couple, couple months ago that I bought a West Clocks um, kitchen clock. And this that one wasn't as desirable as General Electric. For some reason, General Electric is just extremely popular with uh, the collectors. This one was 15 This is the most I think I spent on stuff today. This is the most expensive. But it works, and it, it's a really cool piece, and it has great motif. I just got to clean it up a little bit. As you can see, there's a lot of um, paint scrapes on it co un compared to the West Clocks one. This one's got a bit more damage, but this one is heavy duty. This isn't light. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the clock face a little bit, and then I will put it up for display. Um, what else is there that I want to say about this? And then hopefully I'll just have it for the years to come. And then I will. it'll just sit on the wall and make a good display piece. Is that it? No, no. There's one more piece. Alright, I got one piece from eBay. I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier in the uh, video. And this one's a little beat up. I'm not going to lie. It's it's extremely... It's, be it's in really nice shape considering the age of it. But, I mean, the scuffing is where most people prefer it not to be. This is a 1921 Coca-Cola advertising tray. Let's see if I can get it in there. I don't know where the trading mark is. Oh, here we go. Sorry for the glare, guys. So we've got copyrighted 1921, the Coca-Cola Company, made in USA, the MD Beach Co. in Coshocton, Ohio. Everything is just right as rain on it except for where the girl's face is. I'm not entirely thrilled with the fact that her face is messed up. And I thought this was just dirt that could be rubbed off, but unfortunately it's not. But, you know, it's one tray I didn't have in my collection, and I can always update it. But, I mean, everything else is just in really nice shape. And as you guys can see, or I'll try to attempt to get in there, the trademark is in the swerve of the sea. Or the tail, excuse me. And the girl, this is a flapper girl. And everything is right as rain. The Coke bot or glass is in really nice shape. Everything but where everyone gets picky about these trays is in... Um, good shape. But you can still see the girl's face. It's not like there was a chunk of paint missing out of it. But hey, you know what? It's old. It's 93 years old and it makes a great shelf piece. And I bet if this thing were alive, it could tell stories. Believe me, it would. Well, anyway, that's everything that I got for September 14th, 2014. We will be heading out to another flea market that only takes place twice a year in about a couple weeks. We need to save up some money and stuff like that so we can go out and get some more good stuff. So be on the lookout for that haul in a few weeks. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to uh, comment and subscribe on these videos. And if you have any questions regarding any of the resale items, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's anyone on here who can give me a description of the doilies that I've shown. I don't know if there are certain patterns that are more popular or if there are more, say, desirable doilies than others. If anyone on here can give me any information on that, that would be great. But anyway, thank you all for watching.